You're back with Ken Oath. The voice of reason. I'm joined now by Steve from Wet and Forget. Steve, we know and love your wonderful Wet and Forget personal lubricants, but I understand there's a brand new product in the Wet and Forget range. That's right, Ken. We're proud to announce to the listeners today, Wet and Forget, I said or did anything wrong. It's a special new formula we've devised to erase all those ugly memories of your mistakes and missteps in life. Wet and Forget, I said or did anything wrong works on any mistake, big or small, from leaving the toilet seat up to congratulating a woman on her pregnancy when she's actually just packed it on. Even infidelity can be fixed if you spray liberally. How does it work? Well, Ken, the next time you are found in bed with your wife or your husband's best friend, just spray wet and forget I said or did anything wrong all over your partner's face, leave for 10 minutes, and then simply hose off. We guarantee your spouse will have no memory of your indiscretion, and even if they do, we offer a full marriage back guarantee. Does it work on everyone, Steve? It works on absolutely everyone, even the police. If you struggle with casual racism, sexism or general bad behaviour, wet and forget I said or did anything wrong is perfect for you. Use it around the house, at the pub or at work. Accidentally sent that dick pic to your boss instead of Joanne from marketing? Just spray wet and forget I said or did anything wrong in your boss's eyes and he will immediately unsee your knob. Two sprays and the pain is gone. It couldn't be easier, Ken. Marvellous. And you've got a special offer for the listeners today, Steve. Yes, Ken. Order two bottles of Wet and Forget I Said or Did Anything Wrong today and we'll throw in a free bottle of Spray and Swipe, our brand new formula specifically designed especially for Tinder and Grinder users. Spray and Swipe allows for frictionless swiping no matter how filthy your hands or phone are. Food, grease, bodily fluids, even personal lubricants are no match for Spray and Swipe. Just a few squirts and you can improve your Tinder speed by up to 25 Speed dating has never been faster or more hygienic. Great stuff, Steve. And yes, I can tell you, I've used the product and it is very effective. Just be sure you don't accidentally spray it on yourself or your dog. And speaking of pets, here comes the dog. (coughs) The Paraparam Chihuahua. (coughs) Tetsiwawa or Paraparumu. Good afternoon, I'm Barry Manhor with NZR News. After one of the largest and costliest search operations ever, authorities have finally called off the search for John Key's legacy. Mr Key said he was disappointed but acknowledged it was unlikely any substantive remnants of his leadership would ever be found. Mike Litteris reports. Salvage teams have been working around the clock since December to find any positive evidence of the Prime Minister's legacy. The search area took in the whole of New Zealand and its territorial waters, as well as vast swathes of the Pacific Ocean. Several minor discoveries raised hopes, including a small section of cycle track discovered in the bush near Ekatahuna, and the JPEG of an alternative New Zealand flag design was found on a USB stick. But ultimately, these turned out only to be red herrings. Mr Key was playing golf with former US President Barack Obama, whose own legacy is now under threat, when he was told the news. It means exactly what happened to his legacy will probably never be known. In a statement, Mr Key said he now accepted he will only be remembered for that awkward three-way handshake at the Rugby World Cup. NZR News, Hawaii. Several thousand Sky Sport customers were rushed to hospital today after an incident in which cricket commentator Simon Dool literally sucked the life out of an entire innings of a Black Caps match at the Basin Reserve. Most of the victims were treated for depression and sent home. Mr Dool himself was unaffected. Witnesses said he just continued to babble on about reverse swing when told of the incident. And finally, for a fourth week in a row, ACT Party leader David Seymour said something that was reported widely today. Not that anyone can actually remember what it was about or cares. And that's the news. Go ahead, Corey.